First of all, we have our sand filter. Inside the sand filter is 300 pounds of sand. In a perfect world, you should get five to seven years of life out of that sand. Realistically, you're gonna get four to six years. On top of your sand filter is called a multi-port valve. Under no circumstances do you ever want to turn this handle while the pump is running. It is under pressure and it could potentially blow up in your face. So to avoid that risk, we always turn the pump off when we turn this handle. This is our salt cell. Inside here, there are several little electronic blades that electrify the water slightly as it goes through, creating liquid chlorine. It goes into the pool, the molecules slow back down, it turns back into the salt and the process repeats. This is your zinc anode. It's a sacrificial piece of zinc. So what happens is anytime you introduce chlorine into a body of water, you get what we call rising pH. On a vinyl liner, there's nowhere for scale to grow other than on the impeller shaft of your pump. So to combat that, we put zinc anodes on. That gives it a sacrificial piece, piece of zinc to grow on. Once a season or so, you wanna clean that with muriatic acid. Once it deteriorates to the point to where it's no longer usable, you can just unscrew it, throw that piece away, and put a brand new one on there. Of course, we have our main filter pump. Then we have our suction side. This is coming from the pool and a three-way in front of that. One of these is gonna pull from your skimmer. The other is gonna pull from your main drain. This is your return side that pushes water back to your pool. So this is our Aqua Plus control panel. On this control panel, it controls everything from your filter to your lights, to your timers, everything. There are three modes on this system. You find your modes underneath the service button. All right, if you look right now, there's no light on here. That means we're in automatic, we're running on our timers. If you press it once, you should see a red light. That is service mode. Service mode, as a homeowner, you generally wanna to try to stay away from. For any setting that you put it in, it will stay there until the cows come home. The next one you'll see is blinking. That is timeout. Timeout is a four hour timeout of your preset timers. For example, let's say your timers are set for nine to five and you put chemicals in your water at 4.30 in the evening. You should go into timeout and start your filter. Then four hours from that moment, it will fall back to your preset timers, okay? By default, this is our default menu. It shows basic information about the pool. Your salt levels, day and time, air temperature, water temperature, things of that nature. You'll see more options as the pool pump is running. Pool and spa mode. This is for people that have a built-on spa to their pool. You can press this button and it will cycle over into spa mode. Filter obviously starts and stops your pump. Lights, this is how you turn on and off your lights. The lights that we like to use are power cycled lights, meaning every time you turn them on, they're gonna be a different color. If for whatever reason they ever become out of sync and let's say one light is blue, the other one is white, turn them off for exactly 12 seconds, turn them back on and they will reset themselves. Auxiliary one and two, these are high voltage relays. Let's say you'd like to add landscaping lights to your system. You can actually put them in here and automate them with an add-on control or remote control or a Wi-Fi app. Those are all options available with this system. Let's roll into our menus. Again, the first menu by default is the default menu. First menu is the settings menu. Press right to enter that menu. Up or down controls how you change it. First thing you're gonna see is superchlorinate. Superchlorinate by default is 24 hours. So once you enable superchlorinate, your pump is gonna run for the next 24 hours. What is the situation that we would use superchlorinate? Let's say we have the kids over and they have a birthday party and there's a bunch of kids in the pool. When they're finished, you would turn on superchlorinate and what that's gonna do is that's gonna set your salt cell to 100% output for 24 hours. It's essentially the salt system's way of shocking your pool. Pool chlorinator, this is where you adjust the chlorinated levels in your pool. Salt does not equal chlorine. It's a common misconception and a lot of people think that their chlorine's low so they add more salt. The, the desired salt level for this system is 28 to 3200 parts per million. Once you achieve that level, you adjust your chlorine levels here. So once you check your water once a week, you wanna be one to three parts per million on your chlorine. If it's low, you increase the output on your salt cell here if it's high, you decrease it. The next option is your day and time. And then your display light by default is on for 60 seconds and the beeper is on for, by default. That's it for your settings menu. Next, we have our timers menu. Press right to enter the menu and you'll see you can set your timers for your filtration. Right now, it's currently set from nine to five. You can change that by pressing up or down. 
Press right to move on to the next selection. You can set up to four timers with this system. However, we do caution you, if you overlap by just one minute, it will cancel all four timers. So be very careful when you set your timers up. Three and then four. Next, you can set your lights on a timer as well. Right now we have the lights set to manual on off so they are no longer on a timer, but if you wanted them on a timer, this is where you would do so. This option is enabled from the configuration menu and if you would like it to be turned on, please give us a call and we'll talk you through how to do that. Valve three, that is for people that have an added on water feature that would like to automate that water feature. You can turn it on or off with an actuator, which is an option that is available with the system. Super chlorinate by default is 24 hours and you can change that here to shorter or longer, but we do recommend leaving it at 24 hours. That is it for your timers menu. Next, we have our diagnostic menu. Press right to enter the menu and you'll see basic information about your salt cell. You'll see the voltage to the cell, the amperage to the cell, the cell temperature, and your instant salt level. To reset that, you press the plus button and you'll see a timer countdown. This is gonna give you your instant salt level. We always check our salt levels on instant. The salt level that's displayed on the default menu is an average over time and is not as accurate as your instant. So anytime you want to check your salt, go into your diagnostic menu, press right, and then up, and it'll give you that countdown. If you'll notice, there's a plus or a minus in front of voltage and amperage. The Hayward system by default is able to reverse polarity. This helps it to clean itself. So if you see a negative on there, don't worry. It is by default and supposed to do that. Press right and up to save. Where this saves that salt level is to the default menu. So now you're seeing your instant salt level. Flow switch flow means water is flowing through the system. Next, we have your cell temp sensor. That just tells you the temperature of your cell. Your water temp sensor, your air temp sensor. And depending on where the air temperature sensor is mounting, you might get a ridiculously high number. It's because it's exposed to direct sunlight. Don't worry about that. We rely on the water temperature and the cell temperature for freeze protection and then your software revision. That is it for your menus. This is our multi-port valve. Under no situation do we ever wanna turn this handle while the pump is running. All right, when the pump is off, you can press and move the handle in either direction freely and it will not affect the system. To backwash, press your handle, rotate 180 degrees to the backwash position, and then start your filter. Take a look at this peak glass here and you'll see it's clear. The water's gonna go clear, cloudy, clear. See now we're starting to get cloudy. Now we're clear, we're gonna stop the pump. We're gonna to rotate to rinse and start the pump back. It's gonna go clear, cloudy, clear again. Much quicker this time. Now we go back to filter and start our system. Now if you take a look at our pressure gauge, once the pump fully primes up, this is going to give you your baseline operational pressure. As you can see right now, we're about 18 PSI. So when this system in particular goes up by 10 PSI, it's time to do a backwash. Additional settings on your multi-port valve are waste. We would use the waste setting when you have a lot of rain and you want to run water off quickly. We generally just do a backwash in this situation, but you do have the ability to just waste the water off. Closed, we avoid closed in all situations because it simply shuts off all the flow points on the back on the multi-port valve. Recirculate, this is something that your pool technician would use when doing a chemical treatment called flocculant on your pool, or you want to bypass your filter in general and just circulate water in the pool. All right, we're gonna go over vacuuming. If you'll notice on your vacuum hose, there's two different colors. The blue end goes to the vacuum head. It has a little swivel on it. 
Okay, the way we do is we just put this right on, set your vacuum right down into the water. I like to go into the deep end and prop it against the main drain so that the pole doesn't run off while I'm feeding it down. Now, we simply just push the hose into the water. What this is doing is it's filling the holes full of water as we press it down. And now you'll notice the hose is full of water. Now we just cap it, come right over here, and put it down on top of our basket. And if you'll notice, the line is now pulling water. Now to vacuum, I like to push pressure against my shoulder and just move the head back and forth across the pool. 